Well, nothing each, but not a boring game. No, it must have been a good game to watch. Um, I think the players were excellent. They gave everything. Uh, it was a good tempo at the game. I thought we created more than Rafe Rovers. Uh, I thought we defended well for long periods. Uh, Andy Gagan came in at right back. I thought he was probably one of our best players and probably one of his best games this season. Um, but there was a lot of good good play. Callum Higginbotham, Joe Cardo, Nicky Clark, Farid. Uh, you could name, go through the whole team. Every player played well. Um, and you could see the energy they had as well, closing people down, playing at a tempo. Um, and really unfortunate not to get a win. Yeah. You mentioned moving Andy Gagan from the midfield back to right back and that certainly gave the defence a more solid look and pleasing to get the clean sheet. Yeah, delighted to get the clean sheet. Sean Murdoch as well, obviously had a couple of good saves as well. Um, he's got to be alive, he never had much to do but he was alive to the, the couple of half chances Rafe Rovers had. Um, so, no, the, the defence have been getting a lot of stick lately um, but they worked really hard. I think the whole team defended well as a unit um, and we still looked a threat going forward as well. Yeah, overall dominated the game, creating chances just wasn't to be a good save from El Alibu in the first half and an amazing header off the line by Davidson. Oh, I think. incredible uh, bit of defending and there was a few other ones as well that um, maybe a better final pass, we can maybe pick somebody out and uh, that's what we've got to obviously improve on, it's just that final pass, a final ball sometimes but there was a lot of good stuff um, and if you keep playing like that and working as hard as what they've done today then um, we're not going to be far away. Yeah, no substitutions today which Probably a mark of how well, how pleased you were with the 11 men in the pitch, gave yeah. everything. No, they, they gave everything, but we're going to need everyone over the next week. Uh, obviously, we've got Dundee United, uh, two hard games coming up. Um, so we're going to need everybody. John's not played for a while. It'll be interesting to see how he is, his legs are. And uh, Nat's just coming back, obviously. So uh, Farid's obviously been missing a bit of training as well. So it'll be interesting to see how these boys are, uh, how they recover. Yeah, as you say, a double header coming up against the D United League in midweek, and then I am broke up back here on Saturday. Uh, horses for courses, or one game at a time. <laughs> one game at a time. Uh, obviously, we want to win every game. Uh, the league game's massive again, um, but there was a lot of positives today. Um, we should come away with the three points, as last week um, we should have got the three points as well. So we're going the right direction, um, but we need to turn these draws where we get the chances. And he wins. We can't afford to keep slipping up. Results elsewhere actually mean you slip a place in the table, but in terms of confidence, a lot to take out of the game. Yeah, that's a massive win for us today because Rafe Rovers have been doing excellent this year. Um, obviously, they're in it was at third place. Yeah. Um, so it just shows you the consistency they've showed, and um, we restricted them to very few opportunities. I thought we were the better team. Um, so you can see we're moving in the right direction. We're not far away. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Thanks.